Hallöchen, Popöchen. Willkommen auf meinem Kanal. Mein Name ist Mekko. Ich verschwinde direkt wieder, damit ihr... Na, ihr wisst ja. Ähm, wir spielen wieder Harold Halibut. Schön, dass ihr mit dabei seid. Wir sollen jetzt den nächsten Brief holen oder entweder in die Schule gehen. Also mich wird ja schon interessieren, wie viele Briefe da kommen. Einfach, weil ich neugierig bin. Außerdem habe ich so einen, so einen Monk-Tick. Wenn ich das nicht erledige, dann liegt da was unerledigt <lacht> herum. Und das... <lacht> oh, Trummel im Hals. Das kratzt die ganze Zeit an meinem Hirn. Und ja, deswegen machen wir das auf jeden Fall auch zu Ende. Und werden die ganzen beknackten Briefe auf Pause liefern. Nebenbei muss ich zwischendurch immer einen kleinen Cut machen. Also... Ich weiß nicht, nicht mal, ob ich einen Cut mache, aber äh, ich installiere gerade 400 Mods für Half-Life 4, der äh, Half-Life, lol, Fallout 4. Und leider ist Nexus Mods so behindert, dass man kein Modpack runterlädt, sondern jeden Mod dann einzeln anklicken muss. Also es ist ultimativ nervig. Das... Äh, Weißt du, normalerweise bei Curse kannst du auch spenden und donaten, das habe ich auch gemacht, weil ich einfach sehr dankbar dafür bin, dass ich dort meine Minecraft Mods, Modpacks äh, hochladen kann und auch andere Modpacks wie zum Beispiel, äh, ach da waren auch 300 Stück drin, All the Mods 8, ähm, kannst du einfach runterladen und fertig. Da habe ich den 10 gespendet und war sehr dankbar dafür, dass ich geile neuen Content habe, äh, bei Nexus Mods. Keine Ahnung, richtig behindert. Also wirklich. Musst du jeden einzeln runterladen. Okay. Letter time. Oh, hallo. So, äh, wir müssen erstmal gucken, welchen Brief haben wir jetzt? So. Raffi den Brief zu. Raffi. Raffi Puffi. So, jetzt ist nämlich gerade was aufgegangen. Jetzt muss ich mal gucken. Kann ich. Ich kann. Ne, ich kann nicht spielen und laufen. Das ist natürlich doof. Ah oh ja, okay. Schade. Da sein können. Äh, da müssen wir dahin. Ich will euch tausend Dinger anklicken. Gib mir eine Sekunde. So. Da, da, da. Raffi ist bestimmt auch nicht hier, sondern unten wieder und sitzt da, hä? Na, ist es so? Ist es so? Ist es so? Geh mir ruhig auf den Nerven, dass ich jedes Mal in dieser Scheißhöhle laufen muss. Oh, ist das schon nervig. Ne, da steht er doch, oder? Tatsächlich. Oh, Rafi, I have something for you. Do I have to take it? No, I mean, it's kind of official, but not urgent. Okay, I'll take it. Please find below an addendum to your formal offer letter. We realize that the initial contract that agreed to your counter demands, namely, one, a 100 year period of confidentiality surrounding your work for all water corporation, two, to be credited as the master of circuitry, three, to not be interrupted, talked to, messaged, or otherwise contacted in any way while in the pursuance of your duties for All Water Corporation, was signed prematurely by an AW employee with insufficient security clearance to grant this request. And so we must formally request you terminate the contract in order that we may renegotiate your demands for the period therein, given it may behoove All Water Corporation for some reason to be able to publicly acclaim our engagement of your Raffi Zelter's services. Compromisingly yours, Sanderin Asto, or Water Head of Recruitment. Did you? Well, I had to just to see who. Not a word about this to anyone. My lips are sealed. 
Aha. Ist da noch einmal ganz hoch? In den nächsten Blick. Mann, was ist das spannend. Da oben, das wäre ich gern. Uh, uh, uh. Geh da jetzt rein, Mann. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. Na, jetzt installiere ich gerade bei Fallout 4 das Immersive Wastelands 2. Da sind halt 400 Mods drin und das hat 50 GB und ich bin seit gestern Abend dran und klicke und klicke und klicke und der hat 16 GB runtergeladen. Also das ist echt traurig. Es ist einfach nur traurig. Du musst alles von Hand anklicken. Es ist super langsam. Du kannst natürlich für Nexus Premium bezahlen, aber ganz ehrlich... What have we got here? Dass sie jetzt auch nicht sagt, wem ich den scheiß Brief zustellen muss, der ich jetzt erst reingehen muss. Wer ist Chris? Der alte... Äh... Mit seinem Muskelshirt, ne? Mit seinem... Was ist das? Das ist kein Pyjama, das ist kein... Bademantel, das hat doch so einen ganz bestimmten Namen. Hm. Ich gerade raus. Äh. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Vor allem habe ich ja gar keine Ahnung, was für Mods ich da installiere, ne? Ich weiß nachher nicht mal. Ob es sich lohnt, ob da Mods bei sind, die kacke sind. Ich weiß ja nicht mal, ob es läuft, um ehrlich zu sein. Ciao, Chris. Ciao, Errol. What's that you've got there? Oh, is it for me? Well, yes, actually. It's something old, but hopefully you'll still enjoy it. How mysterious. Well, hand it over. Let's see what the mystic ways of fate have brought me. Chris, it was a pleasure to speak to you about spirituality, cosmic oneness, the relationship between religion and science. And also, I must thank you for your workout tips. I have already seen measurable improvements in my grip strength and latissimus dorsi definition. I agree that it would be a shame to let matters such as this go by the wayside, despite our community's scientific mission and focus. So, as promised, please find attached a number of clippings and notes that will hopefully aid you in your search for understanding and a new signature look. Science spiritually yours. From Lecture on Cosmology and Religion by legendary cosmologist Marty Rees. The church is part of my culture, the rituals, the music, the community and the compassion. And if I had grown up somewhere else, I would have gone to a mosque or a synagogue for the same things probably. It seems to me that people who attack religion don't really understand it. Of course, bad people do bad things in a good religion's name, but they would do bad things under any name. Science and religion can coexist peacefully, although I don't think they have much to say to each other. From the esoteric research article by the anonymous self-confessed mystic stylist. The relationship between both style and spirituality is not often explored, much to the detriment of both spiritual enlightenment and personal beauty. Many monastic devotees, for example, will shave off their hair claiming minimalism and humility as a way of removing barriers to spiritual growth. But why do we associate Jesus <sighs> with his flowing locks? Looking glam is surely in no way an impediment to feeling glam. 
the ultimate glam of the universe. The glam that connects us all. Fantastic. This is great stuff. I always wonder why she never followed up. So, they're all clippings about finding enlightenment? Were you looking for a religion to follow at the time? Well, not a religion per se, but something that would help explain my feeling that there were things science couldn't explain or express. I'm still, and will always be looking, I suppose. So this is great inspiration. Thanks so much for bringing it back to me, Harold. No problem. Oh, and, uh, not that it's important, but... How did you come by this? I was helping Buddy with some old mail that had got stuck in the all-water system. Thank him for looking after it all. All this time. Ah, Buddy. Such a true soul. Anyway, I'm going to meditate on this. Thanks again, Harold. <sighs> Guck mal, ich spiele das Spiel und werde schon wieder müde. Es ist irgendwie verblüffend. Da kommt eine lange Geschichte, die so uninteressant ist und keinen Inhalt hat. Der für mich irgendwie auch nur annähernd interessant ist. Und zack, werde ich wieder müde. Kann ich gleich wieder schön zwei Stunden schlafen. Thank you for traveling with wirklich. all water. Oh, 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 oh. So, komm, wir haben noch bestimmt 100 Leute, die hier rumlaufen. Dann können wir noch 1000 Briefe verteilen. Freue ich mich doch. Okay, what have we got here? Stell dem Hauptmann. Wer ist der Hauptmann? Der Hauptmann? Ist das der Polizeifuzzi? Er ist in der Höhle, ne? Das ist der Wind. Ich möchte doch nur das Spiel zu Ende kriegen. Stattdessen werde ich einen Anfall kriegen. Ich krieg einen Herzinfarkt oder ran mir einen Stift ins Auge. Hab keinen Bock auf das Spiel, will nur das Ende wissen. Eigentlich. Einmal den Scheiß All Water her, ne? Major, I have a letter for you. Why do you have a letter for me? I'm helping Buddy. There were some letters that... Uh, it's complicated. He couldn't deliver them, though. So, here I am. Hmm. Seems most unorthodox, and I might add, faintly suspicious. Harold, you're not... Major, this is above board. Just read it. Here you go. Dear Major Sandstorm, I really want to be like you when I grew up. I think you look very strong when you walk around, and I know you keep everyone on the fedora safe by punishing anyone being naughty. I want to do that too! I have a little brother who's very naughty, and I try to punish him to keep the fedora safe. I also like your uniform. 
It is very smart. Please let me know when I can be your deputy major. Over and out, Jew Main Hunter. Hmm. Respect for authority. No desire to give preferential treatment to his unruly sibling. I wonder what became of young Jermaine. I could certainly use someone of his attitude around here. Perhaps not all kids these days, or well, those days, are as misguided as young Felix. Hmm. It must be different growing up on the Fedora now, though, Major. Being a bit unruly doesn't mean their intentions are bad, right? Hmm. I suppose there's a kernel of truth to what you say. Not that it excuses breaking the rules, but you've given me an idea. Perhaps I could teach people why I'm strict about the rules. Maybe tell them about what it was like when I wasn't. Thanks for this, Harold. Be good. I'll be seeing you. Ich vermute ja, dass irgendwann für Harold auch noch ein Brief da ist. Das wird der Plot Twist aller Briefe sein. Harolds Papa oder so. Ja, und das wenn ich nicht skippen könnte, weißt du, wie ich meine? Und hätte so ein paar Sekunden weniger. Oh, wow. Ich muss mich gleich hinlegen, ich bin so müde. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Noch habe ich nicht reingekotzt, das brauche ich nicht kontrollieren. Okay, what have we got here? Dear Harold, me again. Always when you least expect it, right? Well done for delivering all the letters. Very diligent. I'm not surprised, though. I always saw something in you. Similar to me. An inability to leave things undone when you know doing them will make someone happier. You might not be Chris's personal best in the station jog, but you'll always be a buddy champion to me, pal. And maybe you feel like you understand people a bit better now. You learn a lot about people doing this job. Well, I did at least. I mean, I spent pretty much my whole life doing it, and I don't regret a thing. I hope you did anyway. I sense that someone like you, who chose to spend their time reading old letters with an old geezer like me, probably felt like they had a bit of a tough time connecting with people. But I'm glad you did. Like I told you before, learning about people is a kind of adventure. A way of exploring lots of little worlds that exist within the Fedora. And it's my belief that even if one of those little worlds looks barren and uninhabitable from the outside, usually when you make contact with it, even if you have to chip away at the surface a bit, or wait patiently for a while, you'll find plenty of life and laughter there. And you learn that life is just like a letter. It can change someone's life, but even the best ones can get a bit lost and need some help reaching their destination sometimes. And when a letter gets delivered, sometimes it's kept around on a bedside table, or it becomes a coffee coaster or a paper aeroplane. The message becomes a smile, a laugh, a scowl, a memory. And the physical form transforms into something else. <sighs> Like me, I suppose. Anyway, don't feel you have to hold on to this letter. It's the message that counts. 
And unless you really love my workout video, this will be the last time you hear from me. It was a pleasure, Harold. Buddy. Oh, P.S. If you do decide to keep hold of this letter, maybe make it into a paper aeroplane and make Chris race against it. I'd love to beat him one more time. Um... Und jetzt noch einmal was sondern wirklich sollte ihn über. Okay. Nochmal zu Chris. Gut, oh, falsch rum. Chris, you got a minute? Oh, hola! What's up, Harold? This is gonna sound a little weird, but Buddy has challenged you to one last race. What? Harold, come on, what are you saying? Look at the end of this letter he wrote me. Oh, yeah. How could I refuse? Hold him up and let's have one final station jog! Good job, Chris. You nearly had him there. Ha! <laughs> I gave him a real challenge, eh? You okay? Yeah. Thanks, Harold. I mean, really. Same to you, Chris. That was very entertaining to watch. Ha! <laughs> uh, buddy, making us both smile even now. <laughs> Jetzt müssen wir in die Schule. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Okay, everyone, listen up. Welcome to Green Thumb Class. You may be wondering what Green Thumb Class is and why you're here at Green Thumb Class. Well, this was originally going to be a private seminar to discuss safe handling of the particles that make up the energy source based on our findings, most of which were my findings, may I add, especially the sound wave element, which... Go on with it, Sai! Yes, yes, sorry. But then we decided it might be fun to open it to the public as a kind of general botany 101. So here you all are, and thank you for coming. Here are some tips for all of you on handling things with green thumb status, which includes the energy particles as well as general flora around the cave. 
Number one, exert minimum pressure. The cells of these particles and anything else you encounter down there could be incredibly sensitive. Number two, check for root-like material. If taking any samples, keep them as intact as possible, taking care not to sever anything. If you must take a sample, take it from as close to the end of the root as possible. Number three, keep well lit and warm. We still don't know exactly what combinations of environmental factors is preferred by whatever is down there, but we can surmise it's similar to how it already is. For example, if you find something in the dark, don't shine a bright light on it. Any questions? Can plants think? Can plants, uh, uh, not in the way we can. They don't have nervous systems, of course. But then what does it mean to think? After all, it's just a- Kill with it! Sai, what happens if you eat the particles? Um, we don't know. Ingesting or inhaling anything down there is not advised. Is there a danger of the particles being shocked by environment change? Very good question. It's possible, but from what we can tell, they can handle a small degree of ambience change. Follow these basics, and I'm sure we won't have any green thumbs falling off. Harold? Those are the essentials, but I'll be staying here to discuss the specifics of boron deficiency in cruciferous veg if anyone is interested in sticking around. Right. For those of you who stuck around, this is going to be a wild ride. Oh, I suppose the house party has started. Well, I'm sure it won't be more fun than my lecture, but it'd be a shame to miss it. die Moves drauf hier. Hallo? Hey there, Sonny. Hey, Harold. You excited? I guess so. It'll be different. You know, I'm proud of you. I always knew you were a goof. <laughs> And you are. But I did always secretly think you'd figure out how to do something cool one day. Hey! Ah, oh, come on! I didn't mean it in a bad way. Maybe I was never as much of a goof as Sorry, you thought. Stand for I the know, tour. I know. I even kind of envy you a bit. You should relax, Sonny. Try and enjoy where you are. Maybe, but you know, it's your cosmic consciousness that helps your luck to happen, you know? Anyway, I'm glad it was you that met the fish folk first. Huh. Don't you like fish? No, it's just... If it was anyone else... I just think you were the right man for the job. And you're gonna be the right girl for the job. Whatever the job is. Come tell me how it all went, huh? When you're back? For old time's sake? Sure. Wish me luck. Always. Wee you. How old? Are you enjoying the party? Yes. Well, I think so. 
but I don't really understand what makes it a party. Well, you know, uh, people have gathered for a special occasion to celebrate. But we haven't gone anywhere yet. No, but it's for good luck and to raise our spirits. I'm not sure I really get it, especially the strange movements people are making. They don't usually move like that. Movements? Huh. Oh, you mean dancing. It's, I guess, an expression of letting go, enjoying a rhythm. Ah, I like it. But uh, only an outside musical rhythm? Yes, at least when other people are watching it. Well, I don't totally understand the rules, but it's nice to see everyone smiling. Yes, it is. It'll be even nicer when we come back with a magical new energy source and everyone treats us as heroes. Heroes? Yeah, it's a, a person who's admired and treated with a lot of respect. We're not heroes already. Heck, you're my hero, buddy. It's all very weird, but I'm excited if you are. I'm sure we'll have lots of stories to tell at the next party. I'm sure we will. I'm gonna chat to some of the others, but make sure to get some rest. Okay. Party time. <laughs> ich will hier nicht Party machen, ich will jetzt gehen. Du sitzt ja alleine da drin. why you're going down the crack with Wii U. But we think we appreciate it. So, we got a few things together for you. Hopefully you'll find them useful and or delightful. As a human. Yes. We're still not really sure how your kind thinks, but we've tried our best. Oh, wow. You all... I'm so flattered. You shouldn't have. Oh, go on. Open it. Oh, okay. Let's have a look-see. Oh, this looks great. A nice little fish. Is the fish not big enough for you? No, no, no. It's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Up next. Some hairpins? Yes. We were told by Chris that these things come in very useful. Where are you now? I mean, thank you. Oh, there's something else in here. I think you're gonna love this one. A rubber hammer. In case I see any moles I need to whack. I'll have it if you don't want it. No, 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 it's all great. Thank you. Now I'm prepared for anything. Good luck, Harold. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Is the difference between ooble pops and ooble boops? You see, ooble boops and ooble pops are actually not similar at all. One is like a bubble, and the other is like a bubble made to pop. More for fun, uh, not useful. The dum. <laughs> Don't 
tot. Seven eye. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Did him. Huh. Oh, 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 Wait. How did I get here? I don't remember. And I don't remember leaving it like this. Has someone been in here? It wasn't me. Felix. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, bub. This is my room. But... How do you really know that? Felix, I don't have time for your shenanigans right now. I feel like there's something important I should be doing. I need some space to think, okay? Sorry. Nah, it's okay. You're right, Harold. There is something important you should be doing. I'm glad you agree. Wait, what? Do, do you know what it is? Nope, that's for you to find out. All I can do is point you in the right direction. The right direction isn't through a load of ducts, is it? No, no ducts. Just go through there and follow your heart. Okay. Yeah. Don't feel sleepy anyway. Thanks, Felix. Good luck, Harold. Hope I never see you again. <laughs> nicht direkt so, Alter. Mach doch einfach so ein Spiel. So psychomäßig. Das riecht ja auch super hin. Okay. Ja, ja. Ich, ich, ich gehe ja schon. Ich gehe. Ja, 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 ja. Yes. Nima Sevenai. denn da hinten? Das ist ein Pinguin. Oh. Ein Springbrunnen. Das 
so einem Snowy Mal. Aber es bewegt sich. Der Fiebertraum. Und der Gummihammer auf dem Kopf. Boah, kennt ihr diese Träume? Wenn man so runterfällt und dann aufs Bett aufprallt und wach ist. Wenn du so richtig zuckst, <lacht> fast aus dem Bett springst. <lacht> Do you ever wonder... About what? Uh, no, it's stupid. I shouldn't even bother you with it. You can tell me anything. It's just... Are you sure you want to tell me? No. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm? I just wonder... Have I been useful? At all? What have I really done? This whole time, people have only given me stuff to do when they haven't been bothered to do it themselves. Has there been anything that only I was able to do? So you're helpful. What's bad about that? You make the lives of everyone around you easier. But anyone could do that. I don't think they would give you things to do if they didn't trust you. Maybe. I suppose. But what if we're all doing the wrong thing anyway? Like what? Eating jam instead of wieners? <laughs> no, I mean, that's just personal taste. So, what can be a wrong or a right thing? I don't know. Where's home? Is there a wrong or right place for home? Maybe the fedora is fine down here. What if taking off is the worst thing that we could do? How do you decide anything? It's all so complicated with you humans. Unless... Are we too simple? How does anyone trust they're making the right decision? About anything? I don't know. Maybe we can't know. So why think? But if we don't worry at all... Hmm. Ah. It's nice. You can do it just like that? Hmm. Unless... Maybe... Maybe... The whole point of not being sure is that it keeps your options open. If we were sure about everything straight away, we'd never change our minds. No, we would just be a fish swimming in one direction, following the current, happy, but probably missing out on most of the ocean. That's blugalugalugal. I see now. So, true blugalugal is being happy within uncertainty. Oh. I didn't think of it like that before, but I like it. So, have you tried jam on a wiener? Das war nicht viel so eine Fieberträume. Na dann. So, ich muss das machen. Ich dachte, der tut was selber. Sorry, das war sehr dumm von mir. Dum, 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 dum.
I don't know. I should know. Maybe someone should just tell me like they always do, whatever and whenever they want. Are you being... What is it you call it? Scartastic? It's just so pointless, isn't it? All these crazy ideas for takeoff? What do any of them think it will achieve? Why can't we just be happy here? Yes. Some of you humans seem to have no blugalugalugal. Blugalugal. Ah! I wouldn't even be sad if the mission to find an energy source failed. Then we'd have to stay here. Have to? Couldn't you stay anyway? It's complicated. That's why the mission failing would make things simple. But wouldn't it make all of you sad? Everyone treats me like I'm just daydreaming. I mean, what else am I supposed to do when I was born onto a spaceship? The same one I'll die on with no options. A mission that is probably pointless. Decided on by people I never knew before I was born. Who could have spent the money and energy on staying and helping instead? Who probably made half the problems on Earth? Who made my parents... Who... I'm angry too! I'm angry with myself. I didn't consider that. Sorry, will you... What are you angry about? It's okay. I I'm not sure. I just feel your anger, and it makes me angry that things are making you upset. And I really hate the tube system. The access card is a dumb shape, it smells weird, and it doesn't work properly half the time. Howell, if you had a fish for a long time, and then another fish came to visit, and you could only keep one fish, which fish would you choose? What? Why? Why can't I have both fish? Just because. One fish is going to swim away. Out of your control. I don't know. Which fish is nicer? Maybe one fish can speak. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Maybe you don't even have a choice. Doesn't matter. No choice. These are weird feelings. Is one of the fish going to leave because they're angry at the other fish? Or maybe it's that one of them... bei 49 Minuten. Ich mache hier einen Cut, bevor wir da reingehen. Und dann sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge. Lasst mir ein bisschen Liebe da. Bei dem Fiebertraum Harold Hollywood. Haut rein. <lacht>